Halloween celebrates all kinds of monster creatures and tropes, and a particularly popular Halloween stock character is the witch. Although witches take on different forms in cultures around the world, the witch that we're familiar with in Saturday morning cartoons is the one evolved out of Western folklore and traditions, complete with pointed hats, flying broomsticks, and magic cauldrons. Some witches are friendly, most of them aren't, some witches are beautiful, others have a strong personality. And today we are spotlighting and celebrating all different kinds of cartoon witches in all their glory, warts and all. Stay tuned to see if your favorite witch is featured in today's list. And in case I don't mention any witch by name, let us know in the comments which witch is which. So grab your broomstick and off we go to visit our first cartoon witch. We'll begin this video by spotlighting some classic witches from classic Saturday morning cartoons. Disney have featured many witches in many different forms, but Witch Hazel represented the classic stock character witch, as seen in the 1952 Donald Duck cartoon Trick or Treat. Witch Hazel tries to help Huey, Dewey and Louie get candy from their Uncle Donald on Halloween, but he prefers playing pranks on his nephews. When Witch Hazel becomes a victim of Donald's next prank, she becomes furious and promptly brews a magic potion that has the power to animate whatever she wants to move and act according to her will. Witch Hazel would make cameos in other Disney-related media over the years, and animator Chuck Jones admits to getting the idea of his Witch Hazel from the Disney short, all the way down to the design of the character and even the name. Witch Hazel is the name of a plant, and different characters of the same name appeared in several studio short films throughout the golden age of American animation, the first of which was Disney's Witch Hazel. Chuck Jones was able to reuse the name as it was already in the public domain, and June Foray voiced both the Disney and the Looney Tunes Witch Hazel from her second appearance onwards, using a British accent for the Disney version and an American accent for Looney Tunes. The Looney Tunes Witch Hazel debuted in the 1955 short Bewitched Bunny, which featured Witch Hazel in a retelling of Hansel and Gretel, and she later reappeared in Broomstick Bunny, A Witch's Tangled Hair, and A Haunting We Will Go, before other later cameos. Debuting in 1970, Sabrina the Teenage Witch was a Filmation production based on the popular Archie Comics title of the same name, and a spin-off of the Archie Comedy Hour featuring new episodes of Sabrina along with the Groovy Ghoulies. The series follows a teenaged witch who likes to hang out with her friends at Riverdale High and fight enemies using her magical powers without letting her friends discover her secret. Following its first season, the series was reduced to a half hour when the Ghoulies were spun off into their own series. Formation animated Sabrina once more in 1977 with the new Archie and Sabrina Hour, and Sabrina was rebooted again in 1999 with another of her own series, Sabrina the Animated Series, which once again takes place in Riverdale High as per the original Archie Comics canon, unlike the live action series. Tom and Jerry featured a witch of their own in the memorable 1956 short The Flying Sorceress, in which Tom decides to leave home and answers a wanted ad for a cat needed as a companion to an old lady, which seems innocent enough. As Tom arrives at the given address, however, the old lady turns out to be a witch who ominously has had seven deceased cats previously, including Butch the cat. After a harrowing experience with the witch, Tom later decides to take the witch's broomstick out for a joyride and stops off at his old house to harass Jerry, all of which does not go down well with his new owner. Speaking of Hanna-Barbera, the witch was a popular stock character for many later Hanna-Barbera shorts, and one of the more memorable of these was Winnie Witch, who appeared in the 1960 Yogi Bear short Bewitched Bear. Winnie Witch is taking a vacation to Jellystone Park to rest up after Halloween. Yogi and Boo Boo go to a cabin to try and beg for some food, but Winnie has a broom chase them away. Yogi then decides to secretly switch brooms with her so he can use it to steal picnic baskets, which of course gets him into all kinds of trouble. Another memorable Hanna-Barbera witch appeared in the 1962 Wally Gator short Witches Witch Witch, as Wally encounters a witch in her home where she is concocting a magic brew and is only missing one ingredient, an alligator. The Salem Witch Trials were a central subject for a handful of cartoon episodes over the years. 
The episode Witch's Stew from Formation's Ghostbusters sees Primeval team up with the Witch of Salem's ghost to distract the Ghostbusters long enough to steal their dematerializer. When Futura goes to the present to aid them, Primeval sends her to 1692, the year of the Salem Witch Trials. Back to the Future, the animated series went back in time to visit the scene of the Salem Witch Trials in the 1992 episode Witchcraft. The episode featured Marty receiving a message that Doc and his family are in Salem, Massachusetts during the Salem Witch Trials and takes the DeLorean to rescue them. While in Salem, Marty spurns the advances of a young lady named Mercy who accuses him of being a witch out of spite, condemning Marty for being a witch without being able to defend himself. The Animaniac spin-off characters Rita and Runt took a light-hearted trip to Salem, Massachusetts during the Salem Witch Trials, where Rita is accused of being a witch. While the darker episode of Star Trek the Animated Series entitled The Magix of Magus 2 saw Kirk and the crew placed on trial by the inhabitants of a planet of magicians in response to the Salem Witch Trials. For more on this episode and wizards in general, I suggest you check out my video on epic magic battles and wizard duels, which I will link to at the end of this video. Scooby-Doo and Mystery Inc. have encountered many witches through the years. Some of these supposed witches were revealed to be simply humans in costumes, but other witches turned out to be very real. The 1980 episode Swamp Witch from Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo featured Scooby, Scrappy and Shaggy encountering a witch and her ghostly goblin who invite them to dinner. Unfortunately, the witch plans to cook Shaggy for dinner. When you witch upon a star from the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo saw Scooby and the gang having to stop three bumbling witches who are in cahoots with Marcella who has given the three inept Brewski sisters the Black Book of Spells and instructions to cast spell number 13 at Stonehenge at midnight. Scooby and the gang follow the sisters to the ends of the earth trying to nab the spell book before they can cast the spell. That's all we have time for for today and for this year's spooky season. I hope you've enjoyed the videos this month and that you have perhaps found some new old cartoons to watch this Halloween. I'll be back again next month with a longer video about a topic that deserves to be dealt with in length, so stay tuned for more cartoon history. But until then, compliments of the spooky season to you all, please be safe out there if you're going out tonight, and thank you all for your continued support.